Hey guys, welcome to another video and today I will redo the tutorial on how to edit GIFs on Photoshop because I recently watched it again and I can't even understand what I'm saying. And yeah, there's a problem with my transparency right now but I fixed that now because this is a voiceover. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started before I started talking a lot. So first you're gonna open your Photoshop and you're gonna go File, Import, Video Frames Layers and then as you can see you couldn't see anything and you're gonna input two accessories, press enter and then you're gonna choose your GIF file. So basically this is my Selena Gomez GIF folder which has a lot of GIFs as you can see. Then this window will appear and you could choose from beginning to end or select range only by holding shift and dragging your cursor and make sure there's a check to make frame animation and click OK. Go to windows and put a check on animation and usually it's down here but I put mine over there because I find it easier. So you could play it like this, just pressing that play button and stop it with that stop button. So you could add text, PNGs, textures, PNGs, shapes, and stuff like that. But make sure that when you put stuff, it's always at the very top of all the layers. And make sure when you're editing that you're on the first frame or else you'll just edit that certain frame. But anything you do on frame 1 will happen to any frame just like this one. As I said, you could also use brushes but make sure you put a new layer at the very top. And yeah, I'm just putting this text um, brush and I'm putting this cloud shaped um, shape because yeah and I'm deleting that because it doesn't look really good as I said earlier you could also add textures and in my case I'm just dragging this wing texture actually it's my favorite texture and I'm putting it on lighten so because it has a black background and I'm resizing it so that it will fit her back that makes sense anyways I'm just fixing that and I'm erasing those excess part so it will really look like it came from her back so so as I said a while ago what you do on frame 1 will happen to every other frame but if you edit frames 2 to whatever frame you got because I have 13 so Whatever I edit from 2 to 13, it won't affect anything else but that certain frame I edited. For example, I, did, I edited frame 8, it will only affect frame 8 and the others won't be bothered. Good. Just go have fun with it. And I'm cropping this one because it's too long. And yeah, and to save it, you're gonna go file, save for rev devices, and and then you're gonna go make sure that it's on GIF and the colors is on 256 and you're gonna click save and then you do what you do save it like what you always do and yeah my cursor is not working here that's a bummer okay so I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer a gift but it will still work first of all of course you're gonna open your GIF and this is what I opened and yeah it looks like this and then you're gonna select all of the layers and then you're gonna drag that to your other picture and I'm placing that over the text because I'm using it as a clipping mask you don't necessarily have to create a clipping mask I'm just resizing it so it will fit I'm selecting it all right click create clipping mask so you have to select them all together and then to create the animation, um, create a new frame and then open layer number 2, new frame open number 3, new frame open number 4 and do the same until, until the last frame. 
You could also change the delay by clicking the drop down arrow and then selecting which one you like. And in my case, I'm using 0.1 so it wouldn't be too slow and too fast. Like so. And now I'm cropping it again because it's too big. And do the same thing, save for web devices and save it as a GIF file. Okay, so I really hope that this tutorial is so much better than the other one because I really don't understand what I'm saying in that other video. I am just it just keep talking and talking and I don't think it even made any sense. And yeah, the GIF files would be available on Tumblr and on DeviantArt if you wanted to. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in both websites. And yeah, be sure to like this video if this helped you and comment down below your like what video do you want to see next and be sure to subscribe for more videos so thanks for watching guys bye okay so i almost forgot so i don't know about you guys but i'm calling you pinkies because nobody suggested what name so pinkies it shall be